can't wait to meet you either, Clint. I saw them, there's people in your house. I don't know how many there are or, or who they are, but they're all wearing masks. Goodness gracious, golly gee. I was just coming through town and I ran out of money and I couldn't afford a bus ticket to Little Rock. Oh, Little Rock? I can take you to Little Rock. I got cut up from drugs and small crimes. I'm all alone. I moved from town to town. My parents kicked me out and disowned me. All right, everybody, good day. This is your host, King Nigel of Alpha Male Diaries. And today I have a special guest by the name of Jason Pitts. And he's a writer as well as an independent film producer. So, uh, Jason, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, and you can introduce yourself as well to everybody that's listening. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me. Um, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and, and, and let me come on. Um, <clears throat> I am a writer, producer, director um, out of Arkansas, and I have been in film pretty much. Um, I, I grew up with it, watching it um wanting wanting to create these stories and these films uh specifically in the horror genre grew up in the 80s and, and 90s uh fell in love watching watching movies in the in the back of a uh uh chevy chevy truck at the drive-in theater double features uh throughout the 80s um but i really got into filmmaking and and, and specifically screenwriting um, after high school and I uh, just bought every book I could get my hands on uh, about screenwriting, taught myself and went to a lot of uh, screenwriting classes and seminars and uh, then uh, got married, went to uh, film school in, uh, in Denton, Texas at the University of North Texas. I got my degree in 2006 and uh, then got sucked up in the retail world and worked for target for a long time <laughs> and <laughs> and then uh just recently i decided i wanted to you know uh give filmmaking a hundred percent um everything i got just to uh give it one last try uh to try to try to make it doing something that i that i really love doing and and so that's when i decided to start making these uh these short films try to start small uh I have these this series of short films called the alone saga there's going to be four of them and uh the purpose of them other than just telling a cool you know cool stories and 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 getting these films out there is, is to showcase what i can do and what my team around me uh can do um with very 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 limited small budgets and um Hopefully someone out there will see what we can do and, and, and give us a, a budget and say, hey, let's, uh, let's have you guys make a movie. And uh, that, I mean, that's the, that's the dream. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Congratulations so far on going through, uh, you know, the process of what you had to go through, because I, I know it had to be some uh, challenging times and everything. Uh, was there at any time that you felt like giving up or did you just like it, just love it just that much with the passion that you were just so inspired and ambitious to just give it all you got? Oh, all the, all the time. Um, my first, my first taste of, of, I don't know, uh, defeat or whatever you want to call it, um, was, uh, I, you know, everything was going really good. Uh, back when I was like around 20 years old, I had, I had some scripts. One of them was, uh, was, uh, a, a production company uh, was interested in it and uh, I signed a contract uh, they made the film um, I, I got to go out to uh, California and, and be on set I worked as a PA on it it's called Manj, Manji it's spelled M-A-N-J-E and it's a voodoo Haitian word it means to eat it's a zombie slasher film but um, and this was back in uh, 2006 or 2007 but uh, you can still buy it on Amazon like the DVD it's I, I don't believe it you can stream it anywhere it, it, it was before streaming really got popular but um, 
So I was able to walk into Blockbuster or Hollywood Video anywhere in the country and see this movie that I wrote with my name on it on the shelf, which is an awesome experience. But uh, I didn't make I didn't make a dime off of it. Like I, whatever wherever the money went, I it didn't come to me. And uh, that's uh, I learned learned the hard way to always have an agent look over your contracts. Um, what I signed said that I would get a percentage of the profits. And to this day, the production company said that it never made a profit, which I don't see how that's possible. But um, I mean, it was in it, everywhere I went, it was in, in Blockbuster and Hollywood video. So, um, but uh, yeah, so that was really discouraging um, because, you know, you want to be able to support your family with, with, with your passion and what you love to do. So uh, that really uh, just left a bitter taste in my mouth for the business. And I, I, I quit. I walked away for, uh, for 15 years. And it wasn't, it wasn't until um, uh, 2019 uh, when my son, my son graduated high school that I really, it's something, something about him graduating just really hit me hard. And I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm running out of time. I'm getting older. So if I'm going to do this thing, I, I'm going to do, I need to do it. I need to start, start the process now. We're like basically just start over. And, uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> All right. So once yeah. you decide to, um, excuse me, once you decide to venture on and do your own thing as an independent producer and film director, um, was it easy as it was working with other people versus trying to get it, you know, going up and going on your own? Like, were certain people willing to help you that was, you know, you still maintain relationships with and stuff like that? Or did you have to pretty much do it on your own? Um, well, when I when I made the decision, it was uh, that, that I'm going to give give this thing 100 and, percent and, and and get it, you know, just try give it everything I, I got. I, the first step was to find other people and and to connect with other people who uh who are like-minded share the same passion and uh for filmmaking and for storytelling and uh this community here in arkansas is is very supportive um i i i replied to um a facebook uh ad basically asking for a camera guy and uh and the person who posted it, uh, he, he's a director here in Arkansas named Alan Lowe and a, and a writer. He's got several books yeah, uh, yeah, out. Yeah. But um, and I connected with him and just from, from he was the first person that I that I connected with after I made the, this, this decision to get back into it. And just from him, I just met one person after another. We went we went to this set in Birmingham. Uh, where we were both hired as cameramen, just met more people there. Uh, a lot of those people ended up helping with Alone and uh, and Masquerade and Lonely Echoes and Voorhees Not the Beast. So um, this this little family, uh, this group of people um, that I've been fortunate enough to meet, and that they've really become like just great friends, basically like family. Okay. Okay. So you just mentioned four of your movies, Masquerade, Alone, yeah. Voorhees, The Making of the Beast. And what was the fourth one? Uh, Lonely Echoes. Oh, Lonely uh, Echoes. The, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about that, if you don't mind? Absolutely. Uh, so uh, Alone is the first film of these four short films that I'm making called The Alone Saga. I was just coming through town and I ran out of money and I couldn't afford a bus ticket to Little Rock. Oh, Little Rock. I can take you to Little Rock. I got cut up in drugs and small crimes. I'm all alone. I moved from town to town. My parents kicked me out and disowned me. Where the hell are you going? Why would you help me? Because I know what it's like. You might want to take care of that before you get pulled over. Sometimes I think being alone is worse than death. And each one, 
one we are making in a different uh sub genre of the horror genre the first the first one alone is uh it's the psychological horror film uh the Ma masquerade the second one is like the slasher home invasion film Famous people are people too. I saw them, there's people in your house. I don't know how many there are or, or who they are, but they're all wearing masks and we need to do that. What are you hiding? <laughs> uh, Lonely Echoes, the one that we are about to start shooting coming up here in uh, May. It's it's like the investigative horror type fil film like uh, Silence of the Lambs or Seven. And uh, the, the reason we're, we decided to shoot them all in like different subgenres is just to like I said before, just to showcase what we can do, show that we understand horror, we understand these genres, and uh, we know we know what we're doing. And uh, even though they're all connected and they do tell an overarching story through all four of them, um, it's a very um, conscious decision to to produce them all in, in kind of different ways. Okay, great. So, so far, what, what have you done as far as like support? Like, have you raised any charities or have you done anything to help you move along with your production status? Um, no, uh, I mean, there, there's a few things. We have an Indiegogo page uh, set up for Lonely Echoes. Um, the entire cast and crew for Alone and Masquerade uh, worked worked for free and it's pretty much the same crew for both uh, both films there's a few differences here and there uh, but the core uh, of this group and this family is is has been consistent and, and, and is the same and they, they've all said that they've come back for the, the third one um, for, for free because they I mean they just they just want to see this thing finished they love the story they love the characters but um, after two of films, I started to feel bad and I just would really love to pay these people for their time and their talent. <clears throat> and they, I mean, they deserve it. So that's why I made this uh, Indiegogo campaign and uh, try, trying to raise the money to, to be able to pay pay these people. And um, so that's that, that's one thing. The other thing is uh, there's an organization here in Arkansas called Women in Film Arkansas or WIFA, W-I-F-A. And we've uh, we've partnered with them because they are a non-profit organization. And so any uh, any uh, potential investor who would like to um, make a, a sizable investment in Lonely Echoes, uh, we're able to go through uh, women in film to make it non or ta tax deductible. Uh, make yeah because they're non-profit so those are the two two major things that we got going on okay ladies and gentlemen i don't know if you heard him but he said indiegogo so if anybody yes. interested and in showing any support sponsoring any donation any amount is uh highly highly appreciated absolutely and uh there's some great perks on there just type in lonely echoes on indiegogo it'll it'll pop up okay thank you well, yes, thanks, Jason. I, and I greatly appreciate your time. And I thank Absolutely. you for this interview. And I wish you the best. And I, I know everything will go go great for you. Oh, I appreciate it so much, man. I, thank you. Sure. And I, and I have a little surprise. What I'm going to do, um, if anybody's aware or unaware, I am an author and writer myself. And I have a book by the name of Repercussions, What Happens in the Dark Will Come to Light. And it's an urban novel. But I received quite a few sponsorship offers with uh, movie producers such as Pearson Media, a few, you know, that I will leave unnamed for now that's in Hollywood. But what I would do is I, I would definitely link you in and I would see how my network could be beneficial to you as well. Oh, that would that would be amazing. Thank you so much. Sure, no problem, Jason. Yeah. And th thank you for your time. Is there anything you Oh, absolutely. Any, uh, I think that pretty, oh, uh, we do have, uh, I, I did do a, um, 
a Friday the 13th fan film as well back in October. It's in post-production now, but uh, we plan on launching it um, on YouTube for free on uh, Friday, May 13th. Um, so that's that's about the only thing that we didn't cover, I think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, if you like to, I, I have time if you want to speak more on it or if that's, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, I can, we can talk about that. Sure. Um, so uh, I, I mentioned earlier, uh, I went to Birmingham and, and, and worked on some projects there. During, during that trip, I met a man named, uh, an actor named James Stokes. And uh, this, James is awesome. You can, you can look him up on IMDb. He's been in all kinds of stuff. He's been in Stranger Things. He's been working with Lisa, Lisa Wilcox recently in a couple uh, uh, a couple horror films but uh, he, he has this amazing physique he looks and moves just like Kane Hodder does in, in, in the Friday the 13th movies so when I met him I was like dude you would make a, an amazing Jason Voorhees so we just got we just got to talking and uh, he said man if you ever do a Jason movie I'd, I'd love to play him so I went uh, uh, you know I went back home and I, I started thinking about what a Jason movie, what kind of Jason movie I'd want to make. And um, I wrote the script and then I called him up and I said, hey man, uh, let's do this. So we shot it in October and it's in post-production right now and uh, really, really excited about it. The acting is, is awesome. The cinematography is great. Again, again, it's that same same core group of, of, uh, of family, friends and family that uh, worked on it. The same, same people from the Alone Saga for the most part. And um, man, yeah, we're we're excited about it. It's coming coming May uh, May thirteenth, Friday the thirteenth. Okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, thanks a lot, Jason, for your time. Uh, Absolutely. Once, once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can reach out to him on Indiegogo, and remember as well as Wifea, Wenda, Women, excuse me, in films in Arkansas. Uh, yep. Any anything is is greatly appreciated as far as donations and supporting what they're doing on their venture. Thank you again. All right, Jason, thank you for your time. You have a blessed Absolutely. Night. You too. You too. All right. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. And please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, follow me on Red Circle. This is your host, King Nigel of Alpha Male Diaries. And I'm at.